gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back again with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name is Dan. My name is Mike. Dan. Mike. That's me. Uh, what are we bringing? What are we, what are we bringing here? Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we're drinking. Mike is going to get in the deets. I don't know if I have uh, the deets. <laughs> so this is St. Bernardus ABT 12. It is. I imagine it's Abbott 12. Like. Abbott 12? Uh, yeah, I would yeah, think. I mean, they're, okay. it's like a Trappist monk. I can't do this. Ten uh, percent ABV. I don't know when this is bottled on. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's freaking like it's Belgian a, it, quad. It's a Belgian quad. Yeah. Uh, technically, they call it an Abbey Ale. Sure. That's well, what they. Well, actually, that's what it actually is. Look at that is. bottle. That's, that's it's adorable. gorgeous. Uh, Mike, what's the deal? I'll let you open. Dan, that. we love. Where did we get this? Mike? We love big old bottles. We got this. Now this is like a a staple Belgian beer. Okay. Like they love those beers, and we got this from an actual Belgian. Who I, oh boy! I thought that was a made-up race. I thought they were like hobbits or airline pilots. Or something. <laughs> I didn't know, but apparently they're real people. And they and uh, we uh, I have been working with the. God dang! Whoa! Look at that smoke! Look at it! That's good. Uh, I've been working with a, a, a fine gentleman uh, of late from Belgium, and he uh, we struck up a conversation about beer. He's like. I'll bring you a beer. I was like, okay. Okay. And then I said, hey, we review beer on YouTube. And then I thought better of it and said, well, we talk about it. Yeah. And maybe we we explain some things. In all actuality, does he know we just have conversations and maybe say a thing or two about the beer and not actually review the beer? Bring that up. Okay. It's okay. Uh, So I'm very excited. It's a label I've seen. Okay. It's a beer I know about. I've never tried The only it. thing I know is I briefly looked this up, and they say this is like this a staple of St. Bernard. Like This is, this like, is like their house beer. It's okay. like their flagship okay. almost. Right. Um, oh boy, and we like our big bottles. Of yeah, it. we don't dive into the style too much. So uh, we broke out the hashtag proper glassware. So this is actually our brewery Omegang. Uh, glassware from the Game of Thrones series, but hashtag proper glassware because Brewery Home Gang They're specializes in Belgian, Belgian beers. Beer. Is it is it terrible that like me? I'll just say me. I don't want to say Americans, but me. I just think of Belgium and I'm like, does everything look like Lord of the Rings? <laughs> just that's what I think. Oh boy! But that's like Greenland, I think. So. Or anyway, I hear it fizzing. It's fizzing away. Uh, but when I think Belgian quad, mm-hmm. immediately if I, got, I think of Crafty's Elixir. So Crafty Owls and, and right. Lagers over here by us, Phelps, New York. They He does a Belgian dark, Belgian strong ale. That's what I always throw quads up against. So another fun fact. Well, we have two fun facts. Yeah. Uh, this is one of the original recipes from the days of license brewing for the Trappist monks and West Vleteren. I'm butchering that. I also don't know if this is the the abbey where you would have to, or, or monastery, mm. where you would have to, they would brew like a batch a year and people would just line up. And when it was gone, it's gone. And people would just flock from all over to get this beer. And now it's just kind of like... It's one it's of the, yeah. Um, another fun fact is this label, uh, every thousandth label... The monk is winking on there. He ain't winking on this one. That, but, uh, that is so it, cool. It's so cool. That, I like, love that. Cool. that. That That's very cool. I love that he's got like this just frothy beer. Oh, gosh. It's like just like pouring out. Just froth. It looks fantastic. So speaking of looks, mm-hmm. how does this bad boy look? Because it looks, it looks dark, fruity, grainy. It looks like a molasses yes. cookie in liquid form. Oh, so much so. It looks like it's going to be syrupy and just robust with flavor. Wow. It looks... Uh, well, it, looks has the, it looks the part. It looks right? the part. I love the fact that... Um, I don't know. You just don't get too many presentations like this anymore. And that's always fun. And the, the pop of the cork. Can... It, and it goes against what we say. We're like, I wish these were in smaller containers so I could consume yeah, them. But when yeah. you've got the cork, you've got this presentation. It changes yeah, let's, things. Uh, let's, get let's, let's get a whiff. Oh. That's fruity. That is that is a granola bar. Like like a cherry, cherry raspberry, dark grain. chocolate. A little bit of like maybe honey or something sweetness in there a little brown sugar toffee oh man that smells so good. Oh, got that 
aster, like clove aster with a, a slight banana peel to it. But all, all encompassed in like a, a brown bread. Yeah, the brown bread. That, that's what I was going to say. Man, that smells delicious. It smells you can, see, here's the thing. You can probably sit here and it's it's got it's such a complex nose. You can sit here yeah. forever. Uh, I just, can we just like, let's sip and talk about it. Okay, let's to... do it. Let's dive in. Cheers. All right. Thank you, Sylvain. We appreciate this beer. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. What do you, what do you, what do you think? Like, if Sylvain watches this, do you think he's going to be like, I don't mean to break this to you, but. Oh, my gang's been lying to you. That's not proper glassware. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is proper glassware. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we, oh, my God. We should have had giant goblins. Yeah. Oh, I those, have one. those PBR ones. Yeah, you oh, gave me one. Oh, we, oh, man. We ruined this beer already. This is I'm not sorry. proper glassware. Because he was very adamant about, like, oh, there's proper glassware for beers. I'm like, I know, I know. And now he's going to see us and be like, he didn't know anything. Yeah. He had no clue. <laughs> I mean, I could grab it. We could try it. <laughs> I mean. Wow. It's it's high lower side of medium body, mm -hmm. but it's got kind of an airy it sounds contradictory, but an airy syrupy mouthfeel on it. Country. No, it the mouthfeel is very pillowy and light. But that carbonation is just dancing everywhere. The yep. No, it's the body is substantial, but the it's just got an airy, like he said, it's almost like a meringue type kind of mouthfeel. It's like a light jelly, like a dark stone fruit mm. kind of like plum. I'm getting a little uh, like black currant. currant, black currant, currant, Ooh, whatever you want. To call currant, it. Yeah. yeah, currant. So Peter Rabbit and his buddies. Like yeah, that. yeah. I'm getting a little of that. Oh man. The black currant stone yeah. fruit. Um, chest is warming, so I can tell it's like bigger ABB. But it's not like a piercing warm. It's a very pleasant, like, fireside warming to raisin, it. Raisin. Very much plum, raisin. Plum, prune, yep. in that family. Uh, like a dark cherry. Um, a bit of roast in there. Yeah. Like almost a, a slight almondy nuttiness. This is a beer built for a feast. <sighs> My goodness. I'm talking on the table. Yeah. You, you got the yeah. spread of like like roast duck. Meats. Like, cheeses. Oh, yeah. Just roasted just meats. Hearty, hearty filling food that you want. Kind of a lighter, fruitier, mm -hmm. airy beer that saw some heft to it behind. Oh, my goodness. With some, with some like turnips and just like. <laughs> You're just picking up foods you think hobbits would eat. <laughs> I'm talking to them. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Up in Greenland where you apparently think I am I Honestly, I am thinking Lord of the Rings like the feast. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this beer would go with that feast. Oh. It's turnips. Yeah. You think dwarves would <laughs> I mean this This is a dwarf beer. I'm pretty sure they consume some. They are down in the mines of Moria drinking this beer. This is Oh man. Yeah. So Again, this it, is a beer a king would drink. We are kings of this room. Kings of comedy, my friend. <laughs> King of comedy. Remember that song? Pretty hard, yeah. No. Um, All right. Uh, this is so. This is something really. If if you've not entered the Abbey Ale, the Belgian Quad, the the Trappist Ale kind of realm, we don't do it enough. And every time I do, I'm like, man, this is a really nice change of pace. Yes. But if you haven't, pick up a bottle. I mean, I know they got these. Um, there's a lot of ones I see at Wegmans. Um, I know. You, you walk by and go, oh, I'd like to try it's this. It's got the numbers on it. Like, there's eight, ten. Oh. Why'd you bring that up? Yeah. Uh -huh. I can see the label right now. I forget what it is. Anyways. I just talked about that. I feel like I talked about it with Kyle not long ago from No Hype Beer. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, I can see the label. And then he said something. I was like, that's what it is. Either way, the, it's, it's a very complex sipping beer. And quite frankly, it's just as good room temperature as it is. Like, we, like we I, let this sit out. Yeah. Try yeah. and get to the temperature it should I'm, be yeah, at. Yeah, I, I don't, like ice cold, like. It's probably going to be good, but I don't think it's going to be as complex. A, a beer like this is going to open up mm -hmm. so much more 
when it's warmer. It's got a nice floral bouquet too. I hate to say this. I keep thinking about it, but I hate to say it, but because it's not an entry level quad, but I feel like if it's something you maybe haven't tried before or given a chance, it's something you should because this will set the bar for what beers like this should Th- be. This is one of the finer made ones I've had. Absolutely. I agree. What, what do you rate it? Oh, boy. I'll... I'm going to give it a 4.5. I love really? this. I think okay. this is delicious. I would sit and drink this whole bottle. I'll give it 4.3 Peter Jacksons out of 5 Peter Jacksons. <laughs> He's still going for it. Okay, sounds good to me. Oh, man. My precious. <laughs> Out of control. I just, I can't help it. I can't help this it. Has been all day. I think was a day of Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. All I can it's think this beer is some crazy Lord of the Rings feast, and they're all sitting around getting drunk. And Especially my axe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, like the the crazy like beefy manly dwarf there. Did, the did you ever watch the Amazon Lord of the Rings show? Not yet. Holy jeez, it was awesome. I, I was, was gonna. gonna so awesome. I remember that came out around the same time as the new Game of Thrones. And I couldn't decide which one, so I mm. chose none. I think it's way better than that crummy Game of Thrones show. That was terrible. It's funny because I heard the same exact thing because the opposite. Yeah, that, that Game of Thrones show was okay. Oh, all right, uh, anyway. we're, we're upset. Uh, so, so <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be like, I gave these guys beer. Oh boy. <laughs> At least we didn't drain pour it like old Johnny Ooh. Johnny Corporate. Johnny Corporate Cassini. Oh, 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 it's more than three ABV. How can I drink a beer that doesn't look like water? Oh. Anyway, uh, down in the description below. Uh, what do you think about uh, Abby L's, Trappist Monks, uh, Belgian Quads? Do you drink them? Or do you kind of wait? Like, do you wait a while and then just reappreciate them when you do get a As bottle? we conclude this, I do want to say I did miss one very important uh, olfactory stuff. Okay. Kind of thing. Bubble gum. Yes. You're right. There was a nice little <coughs> bubble gum. A little, little bubble yeast, gum on the taste, too. Yeasty yeah. kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> All right. Uh, bubble double. Um, or, or double bubble gum. Big leaf chew. All right. Uh, down below, FLX Beer Reviews, Instagram, Twitter, and Instagram. You said it twice? Yep. Yeah. And YouTube. All right. It's it's a big beer. This um, <laughs> Sylvain, you got me kind of it's, it's fine. Worked up. Uh, yeah. No, my untap, his untap. We'll see you later, guys. Uh, until next time. Cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers.